said I'm an RN, I'm a healthcare professional. I think everyone here has an obligation as an American citizen to read the bill before you're out there telling us, to, before you come out here and tell us that you want, that we need to have Lois Capps vote for this bill, you need to educate yourself about this bill. I've done what, I've done my best to make my way through the bill, it's really complicated, but I have come up with some questions for Lois Capps and I think everybody should listen. The first thing is according to the AMA, the current medical liability environment has caused doctors to close, close their practices, stop performing high-risk procedures, and reduce care for patients. To put it bluntly, doctors are afraid of getting sued. Considering the fact that a 2003 report from the Department of Health and Human Services showed that the practice of, practice of defensive medicine is estimated to cost the healthcare system up to $126 billion a year because they order extra tests to defend their butts, why is there no mention of tort reform in the bills being pr proposed? question to Lois Capps is, what influence do trial lawyers have on the decisions to leave tort reform out of health care decisions, discussions? My next question is, I keep hearing politicians tell, tell the American people at their town hall meetings that the World Health, um, World Health Organization study shows how the United States is at the bottom of the barrel in health outcome res results. According to the Hoover Institute, America's health care system is in better condition than Congress would have you believe. Americans have better survival rates than Europeans for common cancers, death, deaths from uh, breast cancer are 50% higher in Germany than here, 88% more deaths in the UK than here, deaths from prostate cancer is 604% higher in the UK and 550% higher in Norway than here. Regarding life-saving drugs like statin drugs that help senior citizens with cholesterol problems. 56% of Americans who prevent from, who could benefit from statins are taking them compared to only 36% of the Dutch, 29% of the Swiss, 26% of Germans, 23% of Britons, and 17% of statins. So the politicians are saying that the World Health, World Health, World Health Organization shows that we're so bad in our um, delivery of health care, but what happens is they, wait a minute, in their study they skewed the numbers because they consider things like deaths from traffic accidents. So the World Health, World Health Study is wrong because they add other reasons for death. Also, on pages 31 and 32 of this bill, they describe the new Health Benefits Advisory Committee. That committee will decide what the covered benefits are for Americans who sign up with the government plan. There are going to be a minimum of 26 appointed members of this committee. That bill states that only one physician is mandated to be on that committee, and that's the chairman who's the Surgeon General. The bill specifies many categories of politically appointed positions. They're going to be appointed by the president and other politicians who will be representative from labor. There's going to be an expert in racial and ethnic disparities. And it says that only one practicing physician or other health care professional is going to be on that committee. Mrs. Capps. As an RN yourself and a longtime health care provider, do you not find it appalling that only one physician, besides a chairman, is mandated by your bill to be on this committee that is deciding who is to get services and who will be denied, and there is no mandate for an RN like yourself to be on that committee?